This screencast is about how to use dip switches. A dip switch is basically a collection of switches all together in one package. DIP stands for Dual Inline Package. Each switch, like any switch, is either connected or not. In order to use DIP switches with in a circuit, in a digital circuit, then you need resistors just like you would with any other switch. So you would have pull down or pull up resistors depending on whether you want the output to be high or low when you close the switch. Again, the output is taken where the switch and the resistor meet, just like with any ordinary switch. If we use a resistor array, it makes it easier because we have a lot less connections to make. So here we have a resistor array, and since this end of all of these resistors is tied together to the common pin, then there's a whole bunch of connections we don't have to make. So notice that again, where we're taking our output is from this point where the switch and the resistor array meet. All right. Again, the other side of the switch is tied, in this case, to VCC. This, again, is for active high operation because, again, VCC is connected to this side of the switches, so when the switch is closed, we will get VCC. When the switch is open, these pull-down resistors will pull the output down to ground. Here's more like what it looks like, because since the resistor array has a single line of pins, it looks like just a single thing like this. In three dimensions, we would see the resistors coming from the connection there up to the top where they join together. Again, this is the same circuit for active high operation. If we want active low operation, so that when the switch is closed we get a low, we reverse the connections to VCC and ground. So here we have the common pin of the resistor array to VCC, we tie the wall of switches to ground, so when a switch is open, the resistors pull the inputs up to VCC. When the switch is closed, then this input will be grounded. Here's an example of how one would, be, would look on an actual circuit board. So here we have our dip switch, which is connected across the trough of a breadboard. We have only one switch connected right now. We have this switch connected to ground, and the common of this resistor array, the common pin, is connected to VCC. So this input, when the switch is closed, will be grounded. When the switch is open, then this resistor will pull it to VCC. So this means that normally this input will be high, it will be low when the switch is closed. So this is active low operation. Again, the common of the resistor array is high for active low operation. Again, if we switch things around, then we can have the opposite configuration. Now we have the same setup, but now we've changed it, so the common of the resistor array goes to ground the wire from the switch goes to VCC. Again, there's only one switch connected. If we wanted to connect more switches, we would need wires to VCC from each of the dips that we want to use, each of the switches we want to use. So again, when the switch is closed, input will be connected to VCC. When it's open, it will be pulled to ground. So this is active high because when the switch is closed, the VCC will be connected.